Bill, let me start with you. I know you looked at hundreds of potential candidates for this SPAC, but you ended up going with a very similar blueprint for the last time we had you on, the pay safe deal. Blackstone business, they roll in a lot of the same pipe investors. Is there something in particular about Blackstone and, and what they own that you like? Well, they're just a great partner to deal with, and they have a lot of uh, interesting assets that they've acquired over the last uh, last several years or many years. And this particular asset was acquired about four years ago by Blackstone, a different division than than PaySafe was uh, was located in, but a, a, a highly scalable company, ubiquitous, uh, a real company, real revenue, real EBITDA, uh, and it's a utility, which is what, it, which is what I look for. It. Something that's a there's a key ingredient in the marketplace that will that will that is almost a, just can't be dis, disintermediated. So that was that was the whole theory on the light. I really like the company a lot. Yeah, you know, Bill. When I have Steve Schwartzman or John Gray on, they'll certainly tell me that they do a very good job managing their portfolio companies uh, and get the margins up. And so I just wonder how much is left for improvement if they're right and they're doing such a good job in terms of overseeing the companies. Well, of course, uh, the private equity uh, puts a lot of leverage on their businesses, and we're taking the leverage down on this company from about over five to one down to three point one to one. So this gives the company a lot of ability to go out and make acquisitions to do a little levering up to say three and a half or three point six to one. And this company is going through a transformation, moving from a bureau-based business or a services business to the cloud, similarly to what we did with Ceridian, and it's a very successful blueprint. And Stefan has actually moved, he's way ahead of me on this one. So it's, it's terrific to partner with him. He's been involved in this transformation for seven or eight months. So I, I get a leg up. It's a fantastic situation. Yeah, well, Stefan, tell me a bit about that then. Uh, in addition, obviously, to the deleveraging that Bill just mentioned, you'll be able to do as a result of the transaction. What else are you going to be able to do now that you're a public company that perhaps you were unable to when you were, uh, well, as, as a private company? Well, thanks, David, and really a pleasure to be with uh, with you today. And having Bill fully aligned uh, with me as an investor, along with Blackstone, really takes us to the next phase of what we're what we're going after. And our mission is a simple one. We're very aligned on the fact that we have to help employees today, really, with two of the most important uh, things in their life, which is help them be financially secure and help them make the right healthcare decisions. And you've talked a lot about this already, you know, on on your segments where. A lot of employees, half of them, in fact, feel they've made a wrong decision on health benefits. 60% can't retire when they want to. So in the last year, we've launched for the first time in the market a, a true enterprise employee engagement platform. And it brings together the data from payroll, health, wealth, and wellness, and really allows us to bring the most complete cloud-based AI solution so we can go back to employers, give them the data. And many of my customers today, as Bill said, we serve you know, 72 of the Fortune 100, half of the Fortune 500 already. So they're spending billions, David, and they need help to make sure that we give them the data uh, from clients, from the employees, so that they invest the proper funds into the products. And then on the employee side, we take all this complexity, I and mean, everybody knows 401k, HSA is super complicated. Yep. And by taking this engagement platform, personalizing it specifically to the employee allows us to really help an employee make the right decisions around investing in 401k and putting the right amount of money into HSAs. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.